inna a'tainaka al-kawthar we've given you the greatest the most abundant good wala tubadhir tabdhira don't go out of your way to spend wastefully the first thing that comes out of the ground is called al-badhr when a farmer plants the seed and the plant starts coming out you have to wait a long time before it's fully grown but if it's just come out a little bit it's premature it's not ready if you cut it right now there's no benefit but there are some people as soon as the money comes into their hand they spend it as soon as they get their paycheck they have to get a new pair of jordans or they have to get a big screen tv or they have to go to a really expensive restaurant and spend all their money every chance they get some linguists comment on the idea of tabdhir that you you just spread your money in every direction without any concern about ah money ain't a thing bro i got this i got this it's not a problem you walk into like a best buy i want the biggest tv you got uh that one's 8000 i don't care put it in i got this allah did not just say don't spend your money wastefully he said don't go out of your way to spend money wastefully which is the incredible hikmah of the quran to some extent all of us will waste some money it's inevitable it's inevitable somebody who goes on an extreme you know eid came and you're like maybe i should buy my wife new dress or something and you're about to buy it she picks out this dress you're like wala tubadhir tabdhira no 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 we're not going to buy that no 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 hold on a second or you're about to buy your kid some toys get some present for somebody or whatever and you're like no we're not going to do tabdhir or you're about to get a new car and you're like no i don't want to do tabdhir i'll get a 1978 cutlass sierra and that's you know anything more than that i don't need it cuz it still has four wheels and it still goes from point a to point b so i'm just going to buy myself a donkey and a cart behind it and that's how i'm going to live my life you know even if the hoa has a problem with that no 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 that's not what the idea of tabdhir is the idea of tabdhir is that you don't constantly go over in spending more than you need to in things you need and things you don't need without any discrimination all the time if you develop that habit of constantly spending money without any consideration any sense of financial responsibility because if you keep spending your money like that what are you going to give to your family what are you going to give to the miskeen what are you going to give to the one who's like in a in a homeless situation or traveling around what are you going to give to them you got nothing left to give because it all goes into your obsession you know into your collection of whatever or however so it's okay to redecorate your house it's no problem it's okay to get a new carpet no problem but if you're constantly doing that that's la tubadhir tabdhira which is why in the next ayah allah does not even say inna alladhina yubadhiruna he says inna almubadhirin the ism fa'il is used which suggests these are people who do this all the time they just develop this habit and they do it all the time what does allah say about them it's one of the worst things that is said in the quran about people Allah says in al-mubadhirina kanu ikhwana shayateen the people who spend recklessly all the time prematurely spending their money they have been declared the brothers of shayateen let's think about this for a little bit first and foremost al-ajilatu min ash-shaytan rushing comes from shaytan the idea of you becoming impulsive and rushing into spending your money without thinking twice about it that is actually something satanic to begin with second when you spend a lot of money on frivolous useless things if people spend tons and tons and tons of money on entertainment for example the wasteful enterprise the wasteful corporations they're the ones that thrive and when they thrive shaitan's work succeeds in society so we become part of the machinery of shaitan Then the other part of this, wa kana shaytan li rabbihi kafura. Allah could have told us so many things about shaytan in this ayah, but the one thing he told us and shaytan has always been extremely ungrateful to his master. You will notice something with shopaholics. They shop all the time, they're never done buying enough shoes, they're never done buying enough technology. They're constantly buying, buying, buying and buying. Guess what? They're never happy. They're never grateful for what they have. Their eyes are always on what they don't have. What more can I buy? What more can I acquire? What more can I get? All the time. In other words, you can only be a constant consumer if you're dissatisfied. And dissatisfaction is the exact opposite of gratitude. Shaitan is dissatisfied. He's ungrateful. And so is a mubadhir. So is someone who spends frivolously all the time. They are never grateful. They are never appreciative. The only thing they appreciate is what they don't have. If they have a really nice car and you sit in their car, wow, this is a really nice car, but their eyes are on some other car. I have, I don't want, you know what I was thinking about that one. 
they could have a really nice house. And you go to their house like, wow, this is an amazing house. They're like, well, actually, I was thinking about moving to a better neighborhood. They're looking at a better house. They're looking at another house. We've turned some of our children into this monster. You know that? We buy them one video game, another video game, another video game, another, and they got a collection. They got this massive collection. And we tell them, hey, wow, you have that game and you have that game? Yeah, but I don't have that one. That's what's really burning my soul right now is I don't have that one. What we've done with the new iPhone culture. As you have an iPhone 4, astaghfirullah al what, what kind of primitive Muslim are you? You don't even have an iPhone 5? You have a 5? You only have a 5C? Oh, miskeen, you don't have a 5S? And even the one who has 5S is making dua late at night, you know, when is the 6 coming out? So the idea of you just constantly being dissatisfied with what you have, it's not enough for you. You want something more, you want something more, you want something more. And it's a constant thing. And even though all of us, by the way, human beings have a tendency to want something better. We have that. We're always gonna like another car, it's always gonna be there. You're always gonna drive by a nice neighborhood and like the neighborhood, that's natural. You're always gonna go to a store and look at some clothes that you cannot afford or didn't buy, but they're nice. We have that inside of us. But the difference between that and a mubadhir is the mubadhir has no breaks. He sees it, he likes it, he gets it. He just gets it. He doesn't think about the consequences. You can like things, but put some breaks on. You don't have to get everything you like. Learn to be a little more satisfied with what you have. Be happy with what you have. And you can spend on things you like, but don't overspend on things you like. Because once that becomes an addiction, then إِنَّ الْمُبَذِّرِينَ كَانُوا إِخْوَانَ الشَّيَاطِينَ وَكَانَ الشَّيْطَانُ لِرَبِّهِ كَفُورًا